Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome day like always. I literally woke up like, I don't know, I could say like an hour ago. I'm kind of still kind of dead. But I want to come over here and make a video for you guys real quick before I leave. Um, I've been lacking on videos, but I'm really trying to get there, you know. Really trying to get there. Um, so this video is going to be a question that I just want to pretty much like talk about this question and that's pretty much it. I don't want to talk about anything else. So breastfeeding while pregnant. If you guys been following me for I can say some time now, you guys know that I got pregnant in well in July, but um when my baby was around 8 months old, I conceived, we conceived, um, and at that moment, he was breastfeeding, like, he was exclusive of breastfeeding, but then I feel like he stopped, like, exclusively breastfeeding because of the milk, you know, when you can become pregnant, your milk changes, the flavor and, like, all that kind of stuff changes, and so your milk will, uh, pretty much reduce itself, um, uh, be... Uh, it wouldn't fill up a baby, basically, that's what I'm trying to say. And for him, he did drink, but he, he wasn't like a, a full, he wasn't getting full. And so, I kind of knew that uh, it was because of pregnancy, t pregnancy, and, um, you know, it didn't really combine with breastfeeding, basically, like exclusively with breastfeeding. Uh, they did, did do they do say that breast um, milk supply increases or changes different um, flavor at like around five months of pregnancy, but for me it was like seriously like a month like right away like it was right away like I was maybe like two months pregnant or something, it was like right away when Abraham didn't want to breastfeed anymore, uh, he did breastfeed for comfort at night um, while you know may, taking a nap or sometimes like that but that's pretty much it when he breastfeeds we still breastfeed him um it is safe to breastfeed while pregnant but the only only times you need to stop or 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 you know like don't do it or i actually wrote them in my notes because i know i was gonna forget these things but basically um if you have pain or bleeding in your pregnancy um, you should stop or pregnancy related health issues any issues you have maybe you can have high risk pregnancy preterm pregnancy uh, all those kind of like issues you know in pregnancy you I, sh I recommend honestly you to stop if you are breastfeeding I recommend you to stop because that we all know I don't know if you know this but we all know that um, the stimulation of the nipples when somebody is breastfeeding, you know, it stimulates, right? And so that can cause preterm labor. That can bring preterm labor. If you are not breastfeeding, pumping, etc., before getting pregnant, that it can be very, very bad if you just start out of nowhere pumping or let's say um, um, just taking a little bit of milk. Maybe you want to do that. I don't know. Or something, you know, small, which is you know, taking out milk from your breast, basically, um, uh, so, if you're, if you're doing that, and if you were not doing that before you got pregnant, that's bad, that's really, really bad, because that can bring preterm labor, we don't want you to become, um, you know, in labor before you're actually due date, uh, especially having a preemie baby, um, it is very stressful, it is very, very, like, Anxiety pops in. Um, I never had a preterm labor or anything like that, but I've known people and I know the things they go through. So if you cannot, you know, cause that, uh, because we can make um, mistakes and we need to learn from them. And I'm just like telling you guys, don't do that. Do not pump if you haven't. Do not breastfeed if you haven't already before getting pregnant. Don't do that. Trust me. 
Now, if you want to, of course, um, bring labor, you know, you let's say you're 39 weeks or 38 weeks, you can bring labor. Um, babies are safe to be born at 38 weeks. Um, but if you want to bring labor by itself, by its own, then yes, yeah, stimulate, you know, all that do all that stuff, you'll be fine. But like I'm talking like before 35 weeks, like don't do that. Just to be sure, just to be safe, you know. Yep. Yeah. So, um. If you're expecting multiples, um, twins, um, t multiples babies, basically. Uh, if you have a history of preterm labor, like let's say you go to labor like around 35 weeks or 34 weeks or 28 weeks, you know, any any weeks before your due date, preterm labor, um, don't do it. Don't breastfeed. <laughs> Even if you were breastfeeding, like, even though, like, if you were breastfeeding before you actually became pregnant, uh, you should stop, I feel like, because, um, that can just increase the, your chances of going in pre into preterm pre labor again. So, I recommend you to talk to your OB or to your doula, maybe, midwife, anything you have. Just give some thoughts, just give some recommendations, and I'm, I'm sure they're gonna tell you to stop, but... Just to be sure in your safe side, you can ask anyone. Um, if you have strong contractions while breastfeeding, that's a sign you need to stop. That's a sign you don't need good to continue that. Um, just to be safe, you know. Like, in the safe side, don't don't um, breastfeed if you're having a lot of problems in your pregnancy. If you are having a significant weight loss um that can be a problem too because just imagine breastfeeding a baby and growing a baby inside is just like nuts like if you really think about it it's crazy and then plus feeding yourself like it's crazy like if you're having health problems don't do them if you're asked to avoid sexual activity um sometimes this can not be pretty um that sometimes this don't doesn't mean anything really but in some cases they would want you to stop if you're high risk uh, you know etc so there's a logic reason why they want you to stop not just because they don't want you to do it um but honestly if you have any of these symptoms um any of these health problems or in pregnancy problems i recommend you to stop if you don't have any of these problems, then you can go ahead and breastfeed, but only if you already breastfed, okay? Don't don't think it's it's okay to breastfeed while pregnant. Like that's not okay. Unless of course, it's your body, it's your choice. You can do whatever you want. I'm just telling you to be safe. Um if you are not breastfeeding before pregnancy, do not breastfeed. Okay? Don't do that. If you are, though, breastfeeding before pregnancy, exclusively breastfeeding or pumping or whatever, then you can go ahead if it's okay with your doctor. Um, I really didn't ask my doctor anything, to be honest. I just kind of pretty much just breastfed Abraham. Like, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't ask him, nobody. If you... I already said what I needed to say, basically, is that if you are not doing that don't do that if you are you can continue doing it but make sure it's safe um for me i didn't really like ask nobody because the reason was i really never for i never remembered that question to be honest i never really like never really it was it was not a question that i feel like i need to ask basically i um I didn't breastfeed exclusively, so that's one of the reasons why I didn't ask. Because I I don't um, breastfeed exclusively. I don't do that anymore. I stopped around eight months. Abraham was around eight months, and I stopped. Um, I stopped because Abraham stopped. I was not gonna stop if Abraham didn't stop. I was not gonna stop, but Abraham stopped, so he decided to be done with breastfeeding. Okay, we get it. Um. But Abraham does breastfeed while we're taking naps, uh, early in the morning sometimes, or in the night sometimes. Not always, not every night, not every morning, it's just sometimes he does it. Not every time. I feel like by this time, I'm already, I'm already seven months, so by this time, 
uh, my milk is starting to change, you know, building colostrum, like a bunch of that. And Abraham is not interested. <laughs> and so I feel like that's why he stopped. Like now, doing that sometimes. And they're screaming now, so I'm going to hurry up and get out. But that's pretty much what I wanted to tell you guys is that um, be safe out there. Don't do it if you're not doing it or if it's not really healthy for you. Don't do it. Uh, make sure your OB knows everything what you're doing. And yeah, be, be safe. Do what you do. And like always, God bless. Subscribe. Do what you do. God bless. Goodbye.